frankly, as you've seen with SpaceX, they were able to create rockets that can carry higher payloads, it's cheaper, and they're automated. They can go up and deliver supplies autonomously and come right back. And that is a great boon to us that Russia and China have not developed yet. Because we can't stay in the Middle East forever. Uh, the American people don't want this. If you look at opinion polling, 71% of them want us to do less military action. And we also need to focus on Russia and China. I, I think they're the long-term threat. I'm glad this is a security guarantee. He looks at Saddam Hussein, looks at what happened to Gaddafi, he looks at what happened to Ukraine. Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons. And look what happened. So this is, you know, we're the most powerful country in the world. Uh, suspending one military exercise is not going to drastically impede our capabilities. Uh, as for meeting with them, I mean, we meet with China. We meet with Russia. Reagan met with the Soviets. Uh, so in the short term, if we assume the pattern holds, sanctions relief is the biggest thing they want. However, uh, you could posit that maybe they actually want to turn everything around to normalize relationships, uh, to, to completely open up to us. But that America needs to either decide to live and let live and uh, basically believe that deterrence is the way forward, that we will coexist the way we did with the Soviet Union, the way we now do with the Russians and the Chinese, because the alternative is to push them and risk the possibility of a spiral into uh, war.